has multiple projects in the Sacramento area that need volunteers this weekend. Day of Caring is the largest volunteer day in the Sacramento region, and Marianne is standing by with how you can get involved. I love it. I love how involved everybody's getting here in the Sacramento Valley, right? We've got Day of Giving uh, that helps by uh, donating money to projects. This one is calling for volunteers to show up in person. I want to introduce to you, uh, this is Blair Crossan. He's the Regional Vice President for Nationwide, and also Stephanie Bray, the President and CEO of United Way California Capital Region. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. This is a great uh, project. How long has Day of Caring been going on? So this is our sixth year. Sixth year. And, yes, six years. And in that time, we've had over 3,000 volunteers come out and give over 18,000 hours of their time. Outstanding. Yes, to 182 projects around the region. Wow. And what kind of projects are we talking about? Everything from building community gardens to sorting food at food banks to beautifying parks and schools. There's something for everyone. Outstanding. And Blair Nationwide is involved, uh, offering some financial backing for the project, but also uh, you're putting some people out there yourself. We are. We are. We've been the sponsor of Day of Caring for several years, and we have over 100 employees. They'll be out at various projects throughout the region, uh, helping out and giving back. I also saw that there, uh, there are some advanced pop-up volunteer projects that are coming up tomorrow, I think. We what are do. Those? What's we that do. All about? It's our Care to Give bus, and okay. it is probably one of the largest school buses I've ever seen. <laughs> and there'll be many projects just to get people excited and engaged and, and see what some of the opportunities are to help out. It looks like you brought some of the stuff too. Are you uh, providing the tools that they're going to need when they get there, folks? Like you've got gloves here. Yes. Uh, you've got a little trowel here. Yes. Yes, yes, driver, yes. All this kind of stuff, yeah. So yes. the stuff will all be there when they get there. Yes, we want to make it as easy as possible for people to give their time. Oh, that's nice. How did Nationwide decide to jump on board with this? So the Nationwide employees, we've been a huge sponsor of United Way nationally for years and locally for years as well. Um, this is very important to us for our associates. We love to have them involved in our local communities, and this is just one of the many ways we do that. Outstanding. All right, we're going to tell you more about how to uh, get involved in those projects. But one of the projects that needs uh, some folks to turn out tomorrow is, uh, or this weekend, is a huge gardening project at Woodlake Elementary School in Sacramento. Kemby Brown is standing by there live with more on how people can get involved. Hi, Kemby. Good morning, Marianne. So Woodlake Elementary is really doing amazing things with their students here with this tolerance garden, but they need some help. They have big plans. Alisa, this is your brainchild. You guys did this eight years ago, and you have some new things that you want to incorporate into the garden, but you need volunteers to help you. So we have these, uh, they're going to be benches over there? They are. So what we, do, what we do is we pull out these pieces of wood, and the kids write new and frank quotes on them each year. And then we stain them and refurbish them, and then we put them into the benches that are over here. And we also create some murals each year. Our big project this year is making an outdoor pizza oven. So I definitely need some people who know how to do that. Yeah. We would love to have people help. Well, this is your time to really tell people about why you need their help. Friday and Saturday is when you need people out here helping in the garden. Not only uh, we have some overgrown plants, so we can need some help with that, too. If people are have a green thumb, that would be especially helpful. Also, if they're good at constructing a Absolutely. pizza oven, we need them. But what do you guys use this garden for? We use it to let the kids calm down, and it's a place for the community to come out and meet. And parents come in in the morning, and they'll sit with their kids and read. And a lot of the classrooms bring their classes out and they read and the kids are able to make stuff too. We made peach salsa a couple of years ago and we make cauliflower pizza crust and we made potato, tomato, onion soup out of our produce. And we have producing trees and we have a big area that needs weeded and we really need some people out here and some muscle to do that. And we need some artists to help us revamp everything. Okay, and it really... takes a lot of work. Oh, and I'm we sure. We need help. Yeah, and, and they do have the students do a lot of work as well. And what's really neat, you guys, is that this is a place where students, maybe they're having a hard day, they can go out here. Lisa was saying sometimes you'll have students who just need to cool off. They can come out here and they can water the garden. Jennifer, you're the principal here. This is a, such a great thing. How awesome is it that United Way is going to help get you guys some volunteers here? So a day of caring aligns perfectly with one of our district initiatives in Twin Rivers to really focus on creating a positive and peaceful learning environment for our students. And having this garden here just really brings that all together. We're really focusing on mindfulness for our students and helping them to get centered. And our garden really provides that for our students. I love this. And you know they say it takes a community, you guys. So that is why we need your help. What time are you guys going to be out here on Friday and Saturday? We will be out here from 9 a.m. 
a.m. to 12 p.m. And so we do need volunteers this Friday, September 21st. So if you're interested, go online to the United Way Day of Caring website, select our school, and sign up. Okay, I love it. And uh, I know Jennifer looks beautiful in her floral dress right now, but don't get it twisted. She can put on some gardening gloves and jeans as well. So she's ready to get dirty in the garden too. Oh, you got can't be all excited about pizza oven there too. Thanks, can't be very much. So Woodlake Elementary, just one of the projects. How do people sign up? They can go to our website, yourlocalunitedway.org, and click on Day of Caring, and you'll see all of the projects. And there are, are a ton of them here, a couple of dozen yes. at least in the Sacramento area with yes. uh, tons of volunteers needed. Uh, we've got that link to GoodDaySacramento.com, our homepage there at the top of the page. Click on Show Info and then scroll down for all the links from today's show, and you'll find the link there to United Way. Kind of, It's exciting. I know you guys are probably yeah, all excited very, about yeah, this year. Good luck with so. your six on this. We'll see you thank for you. your seven, I'm Thank sure. you. Wonderful. All right, thank you guys <laughs> thank so you. much. Back to you. Thank you.